say that. It's definitely a bit of an issue. How come you're the only one with proper uniform on and the other the others are all in a state of disrepair? Oh! Oh. oh. <clears throat> I say, excuse me, what's going on here? What's happening here? I am Microtech security and I don't know what's happening here. How come you've got a weapon and I haven't? Not a talker. Maybe we need sign language. Okay. No one ever speaks to me. I don't suppose you've got a cruise shake, have you? Or water or something. Because I've been, I've been doing a 12, 12 hour shift and uh, I'm quite parched. <clears throat> this one doesn't speak over here, does he? He just looks. Why don't you take a picture? It'll last longer. You're not the social type, are you? <laughs> I didn't think. <laughs> oh, okay. As a member of uh, New Babbage Security, I, I'm not overly satisfied with what's happening here, I have to say. Whoa! I recognize you. I like your outfit. You look dodgy. Hello, Colin. It is Colin, isn't it? I saw your invitation to discuss peace in the verse. It was very cute. How are you doing today? I am not too bad, thank you for asking. Nice ship. Thank you, I'm quite fond of it myself. Such a fun ship. Refresh my memory, Colin. Where do you work again? New Babbage Security? Customs? Ah, yes. Customs. How convenient. Tell me, Colin, when was the last time you felt a sense of pride in your work? <sighs> it's been a while. And how do your employers treat you? They treat me like an idiot. I'm sure they do. And what is your work like? Ah, oh, life as a security guard is so boring. Do you know how much I make an hour? It's not that much. You probably are more richer than I am. I am so bored of walking around. Just boring. I could have been a fighter pilot. Could have been a really good fighter pilot. I could have been the best damn fighter pilot this space has ever seen and instead I'm walking the perimeter of an empty hangar. Ah! That sounds awfully unrewarding. And what do your friends think of your career choices? I'm sorry, I haven't got any friends. Ah, a man dedicated to their craft, then, I suppose. So, Colin, we are taking you on a small cruise in our fine vessel here. Where are we going? Where we are going is not so much a location as it is a heading. So where are you headed? Here, Colin. Right here. Where's here? Here is 30 kilometers above the surface of what is to be a very unwelcoming and hard surface to land on at terminal velocity. Are you getting up to no good? In a matter of speaking, yes. But it does not have to be all bad for you. Tell me, Colin. Did you happen to watch the entirety of our declaration? Yes. And what are your thoughts on it? It's very powerful. I'm glad you feel that way. The general purpose of that was not to simply warn Stanton of the upcoming conflict. The goal of it was to instill a sense of pride. We all are as sentient entities. To shove aside that gnawing feeling of worthlessness. I know that feeling. I'm sure you do, Colin. You see, you were not born under a flag or a nation. You were born under a logo. You are not of a people as much as you are of a brand. A soulless entity that births its bastard children into subjugation, not freedom, as products, not people. And you, my friend, are exactly that, the product. But we can change some of that, give you back a little freedom. We have taken the liberty of transferring a great deal of currency to your account. Consider it a part of a bargain. A once-in-a-lifetime deal. What? Yes, Colin, I am offering you free choice. 
a choice between a rock and an apple. All you have to do to fill your end of the bargain is to look the other way when my associates arrive with their cargo to New Babbage. Is this illegal contraband? Whatever it is is none of your concern, Colin. In one hand I hold an apple, a succulent, sweet, juicy treat that nourishes and fills you with delight. In the other, a rock, a hard, blunt object used to, for example, maim and crush. What do you think about this proposal? It's confusing. Pick the rock and I will crush your kneecaps with it. Do you understand? Yes. If you choose the apple, you will return to your normal life. And the only thing that will change is that you will finally have some new friends. Speak to anybody about it and we would naturally claim you as one of our own. Something I'm sure your current employers would not look kindly of. Oh, that would make sense. Well, it's been lovely chatting. I need to do my job. And my job is security. So good day. Sit. You just nudged me. Yes, Colin, and I will nudge you twice as hard if you try to insult me again by leaving in the middle of a civil conversation. Sorry, sir. So, would you like to have financial freedom? Perhaps a pension worth working towards? Something to secure your retirement? It's all yours, and all you have to do is to agree to be our friend in need. I would love to, but uh, the problem that I have is I'm just a security guard at New Babbage. Ah, but you are just not any security guard. You're a customs officer, the man holding the line, the key to the city. I'm a good person. I, I just work for the security company. Maybe you need a taste of the rock to help you make up your mind. Oh my gosh, what is that? What's this? What are you doing? <gasps> oh! Ah! Oh! Oh! Can somebody please help? I do apologize. Sometimes it takes more than words to convince someone in need to accept the help we are offering. Now, in case you're not entirely convinced, let me give you a second helping of that delicious rock you seem to prefer. Unless, of course, you would prefer to continue on much friendlier terms. Wait! No, 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 I'm friendly. I'm friendly. I'm friendly. Honestly, 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 sir. Glad to hear it. Okay. Do you need assistance? Yes, Colin. You will assist us in bringing in a little variety and spice of life to your fine city, and in return, you will enjoy a life of comfort. Perhaps even take up your dream of owning a fighter craft, taking on the scum and villainy of the galaxy on your own terms. Make those dreams finally come true. That's a good plan. Who am I to judge, right? Good. Then we have an understanding. So, Colin, I need to hear you say it. Which is it? The rock? Or the apple? Okay, I am going to take that apple. Thank you. Good sir. Excellent. I hope that our friendship will be fruitful and uneventful. I would hate to have my trust broken considering how well you are being compensated for simply not doing your job. You can trust me. It's fine. Good. Well then, I'm glad we've reached an accord. I guess I'll see you around. You most certainly will, Colin. Fly safe now. You're not getting off? No, Colin. This is your stop. What? Pop the hatch. Don't open it. Don't do it. Don't do it. No. Oh no. Oh, this is not good. No. I'm fine. Oh God, I'm in a spin. Oh crap, I'm in a spin. Oh, I'm still in a spin. Oh, this is no good. Good afternoon, Captain. Welcome to New Babbage. I am New Babbage Security here to greet you. I trust you are having a good day. Welcome to New Babbage, sir.